Hey folks, welcome to my channel Codage. This is Swapnil Gosavi. In this session, we will see how to use embedded and embeddable annotation provided by JPA. So let's get started. Let's take an example of person class. When we store this class with the help of person, it will store in the form of table as shown here, right? Now, if you observe this class carefully, there are three fields that is address ID, zip code and city, which is basically belongs to address properties. So what we can do for better encapsulation, we can create a separate class called class address and we can move these three fields to the class address. Now, to maintain the relationship between the class, what normally we do, we create one-to-one -one relationship in the person class and we make this address class annotate with the entity. But what this will cause, this will create two different tables in the database. It will create a person class, person table, and it will create an address table in the database. But let's say we have requirement that we want to keep our table like this, right? So what we can do to maintain this table structure as it is, what we can do, we can annotate class address with embeddable. And in the class person, we make that address field as an embedded, which will maintain our table structure as it is. Now let's see how to implement this in the code. Now, I have created a class person, right? And it has all the fields as shown in the previous PPT. Now, let's make this class as an entity and we will simulate this same example here. We'll make this class as a, will you make this field as an ID, right? Now, we will insert some data into the database. For that, I will create data.sql. Now, how to insert data? Let's write query for it. Insert into person. Let's take column names. ID first name, last name, age. Then what are the columns? Add this zip code and city. Address ID, zip code, and city. We will assign some dummy values. That same name will be spot name. Last name. Let's take page as a twenty three. Address ID one twenty two. Let's take a zip code as one thousand one. And city as number. Let's add one more record. Change the ID to thirteen. Change the name. Largest part age will be 34. So will be the address ID and 1000 to change the city to Delhi. Right now, we'll just restart. We will start the application. application started successfully let's see in the database i'm using in memory database localhost 80 slash is to hyphen console let's take select the person table and you can see the data is added into database now what we want to do? We want to separate these three fields into different class, right? So what we will do? We will create a new class. Add this. 
right and we will copy these three fields in the add this class now in the add in the class person class we will create new field that is address address right and we will annotate this class as a and be able and in the person class what we will do we will annotate this field as mb dev now let's restart our application let's check in the database Let's refresh this page. We can move to the percent table. You can see the same data has been added into database. So that's all about this session. We saw how to use embedded and embeddable annotation in this session. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Bye bye.